really awesome. And time now for News Nation Gut Check. At a time when raising the minimum wage is a hot midterm campaign issue, Oklahoma's Republican governor is blocking efforts to raise it in her state. Governor Mary Fallon has signed a bill that bans cities and counties from setting their own minimum wage standards, saying it creates a hardship for small business owners. Well, joining me now is State Representative Eric Proctor, who is strongly against that bill. Sir, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Um, before I get your opinion on this or your view, the governor said, quote, most minimum wage workers are young single people working part-time or entry-level jobs. Mandating an increase would require businesses to fire many of those part-time workers. It would create a hardship for small business owners, stifle job creation, and increase costs. Your reaction to that statement released by the governor? Well, one of Oklahoma's favorite sons, Will Rogers, had a statement he used to say that it's not what you don't know that gets you in trouble, it's what you know that just ain't so. And what the governor said just ain't so. And no American should work a full-time job and live in poverty in our country. But what the governor and this legislature here in Oklahoma did to take away the rights of the people to ever vote to raise the minimum wage municipal level is just simply wrong to silence their voice to say you know y'all just sit down shut up we got this you don't worry about it uh, we're gonna stifle your voice is wrong and we should be fighting it and it is immoral uh, and the minimum wage would have increased to 10 10 um, an hour which we know is a um, national debate led by the president and and his administration here uh, but, but it is intriguing that this this idea that businesses would would be hurt from this or jobs would, be, would somehow be stifled when we know if there's money coming in those individuals aren't hoarding it and putting it under mattress if you're making more money you're likely spending that money and putting it back into the economy that's right and it's just a simple philosophy between Oklahoma Democratic legislators and uh, Oklahoma and Oklahoma Republican legislators see that the Republicans believe that the wealthy are the ones that create the jobs in America but if they would have been in my ninth grade economics class mm -hmm. that I taught as a high school teacher they would know that 70 percent of the American economy is dependent on consumer spending of the middle class and wages have stagnated the cost of uh, the, the cost of living has increased whether it's housing or education or health care the, the power of the dollar continues to diminish but wages stagnate and to stand by and do absolutely nothing when we have a chance to help our brothers and sisters that are struggling living in poverty but working a full-time job is wrong and we should we need to fight it it is immoral what is the next step here as you pointed out you believe it is immoral here what's the next step for your state well, we just continue taking the message to the voice of the, to the to the people, and we have a provision in Oklahoma that we can take it to a statewide referendum vote, and I think you're going to see efforts to do that, to give every Oklahoman the opportunity to vote, to love their neighbor, as we're called to do in Scripture, and to stand up for those that are less fortunate than us. Sir, thank you so much for your time. I greatly appreciate you joining us today. Thank you for having me. So we ask God our audience, think, what does your gut tell you? Should